Good afternoon. I think people have been hearing from me for the last year about uh, this basketball tournament coming to Columbia. Two weeks from now, we'll have eight teams here in Columbia that uh, are be on their road to the Final Four. We're so excited. It's, um, it's a dream come true for all of us in this community. There's so many people that have been working together on this. It's not just me. It's not just our office. Um, the experienced Columbia SC staff doesn't get enough credit for all they do. Uh, for projects like this. So uh, on behalf of all of our employees uh, or all of our management staff, I want to thank all of our employees. They've done a fantastic job on this. So thank you. Not to mention all the partnerships. That's the unique thing about hosting an event as big as March Madness. It, no one organization can put it together. The University of South Carolina can't do it. The City of Columbia can't do it. We can't do it. It has to be a collaborative effort, and I mean a region-wide collaborative effort. We've got both counties, we've got all the municipalities, everybody has something going on in our community during that time. And we're so thankful that we were able to bring an event that was able to, uh, to bring such a collaborative effort uh, together. You know, if we get some of the teams that people have been talking about, the possibility of us getting, we could have 20 to 25,000 people in town during that week, um, over 3,000 hotel room nights, and up to $9 million of economic impact. That's hard, <laughs> That's hard to believe from a single event, um, but it can do so much more for our community. It allows us to show the world Columbia can host events of this scale. Um, so I think moving forward, this will allow us we have now set the bar high. Obviously, we're going to go after the NCAA again. This is the first year of a four-year bid cycle. So in a couple of years, we will put another bid together. And it's, it's things like this. It's collaboration that we hope is going to put give us uh, a foot forward as we're bidding against other cities, surrounding cities, throughout the Carolinas that want to host this event. Everybody really wants to host it. Uh, this four-year bid cycle left Charlotte out. If Charlotte, North Carolina can be left out of a four-year bid cycle, then certainly I feel that we could be left out. So as a part of the decor that we're doing, as a part of the collaborative effort, this is one of my favorite pieces. I, I, it, to understand how this came together and not knowing, um, since we've never hosted this since 1970, it's not the same animal it was uh, back then. Um, but to show the community coming together, to be able to have art pieces like this as part of the decor, we're gonna have posters for everyone, every business in, in the area that wants to have them. We're going to have street pole banners, more than you've ever seen for any one event uh, in Columbia's history. And I think between the events that are going on that weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the open practice on Thursday, the uh, Fan Fest at the Convention Center on Thursday and Friday. I think there's a lot going on, not just for visitors coming in, but for the, uh, before the local residents here to get a chance to feel what it's like to be a part of it. And that's what we want. We want like, our community to feel like they are a part of this event, of what we're doing. And that's why um, this piece is so very important to me. I think this, most people want a visualization. You can say you collaborate, you collaborate, and we've done a lot, but saying you've collaborated on plans is one thing, but actually seeing it come true uh, in physical form is something else. So we are thrilled. We could not be happier. Lee, uh, thank you for everything that One Columbia has done. Um, this is only one of a long line of successful projects that y'all have done. Uh, you've knocked this one out of the park as well, as well as the uh, as the art, art, excuse me, the artist that we have here. Um, so thank you for that. Uh, I'm going to turn it over to Mr. James Bennett. He's been a longtime supporter of Experience Columbia SC and Experience Columbia SC Sports uh, as a board member and um, as a member of our community. So on behalf of First Citizens, here's Mr. James Bennett. First Citizens is uh, very proud to give this space uh, as a gift to the city of Columbia and to partner with One Columbia and Experience Columbia. Uh, this initiative is uh, called Going Beyond the Court. You know, when we think about sports, uh, basketball, 
Uh, we think about uh, rivalry and competition, uh, but basketball and sports probably do more for a community in outreach and, and bringing people together and uh, bringing about camaraderie. And as we look into the NCAA weekend, uh, as Scott mentioned, over 25,000 new people uh, to the area, a $9 million economic impact, who wouldn't want to be part of this? So I, I just want to take this opportunity to thank those involved to, to get First Citizens involved. And, and with this project, uh, we went beyond uh, the recognition of the NCAA. We also took advantage of the opportunity uh, to share uh, with Columbia one of our long-term partners, um, Team Cancer America. First Citizen had been partnering over the years, and you may not have heard a lot about Team Cancer, but, but when, when we as a, a bank look at Team Cancer, we are highlighting uh, those teenagers uh, who unfortunately uh, have been stricken uh, with cancer. Uh, you know, we have uh, units and, and, and rooms for juvenile and, and for adults, but the teams didn't have a, a place that they could call their own when we try to uh, address uh, cancer uh, throughout the country. And so Teen Cancer uh, kind of sponsors a place, a, a safe haven for those individuals with cancer. And uh, First Scissors is a, a, a proud sponsor. But again, when we talk about sporting events, you know, uh, this is one that goes beyond uh, the court. And I think uh, we as citizens can no longer sit on the bench. We've got to get in, involved in the game uh, to support things like teen cancer and, and other uh, major uh, initiatives in our, uh, in our community. And so again, uh, First Citizens just honored uh, to be a part of this. It's just a natural uh, with the headquarter biz, uh, building uh, right across the street and this lovely uh, green space, this is really what we need to be about. And we thank you for giving us this opportunity. It is an absolutely visual representation of the collaboration that took place. Um, we uh, fabricated this ball out of styrofoam. And I say we, I mean, I didn't actually have anything to do with that. But, but uh, Danny Harrington and uh, Brandon McIver, two theater techs here in town, creative thinkers, uh, really put their minds around it and, and made this out of styrofoam, starting with a box, carved it out, figured out how you create something so large and how you move it into place. Uh, and then, and then they, uh, thanks to the generosity of Town Theater, we were also able to use their workshop space to have each of the artists go in and install their pieces all directly on the ball before it ever arrived on site. Um, it probably took us about a month and a half from start to finish, and each of those artists, some of them finished within a day, or some of them took a few days to do their piece. Um, and, and like I said, so just a great collaboration that everybody could participate, and certainly representative of how when we all come together, be it sports or business, uh, tourism and the arts community, we really can showcase uh, how great Columbia really is through these kind of projects uh, to all the people we, we expect to see during the tournament. Uh, so I, I want to take a moment and recognize all the artists that we have. We actually have all six here today with us. Uh, so there's Thomas the Younger, uh, Keith Tolan, uh, Shelby LeBlanc, Ty Davis, uh, Josh Jackson, and Charlotte Hacker Mullen. So uh, please uh, chat with them, talk about their pieces, but they've done great work. So again, yeah, just on behalf of the arts community, I think it's it's a great opportunity when the artists can lead the way in showcasing Columbia. Uh, so thank you to all the partners and thank you. Uh, take pictures, enjoy the piece, thank you. We have all kinds of decor that's all over town and we thought that something that, in, that would tie in local artists would be a great way to celebrate. You know, it's something that people, it catches people's eye when they walk by, they take pictures in front of. We just wanted something to uh, really be different and unique and to really showcase um, Columbia, South Carolina and how, you know, happy we are to have the, the tournament here. We want to welcome visitors. 
but we want locals to be excited as well and to walk by and to know that something special is going on here in Columbia this month. Take your selfies, come out, take pictures with your friends during, during the tournament and, and use the hashtag RealColumbiaSC um, so that we can you know, have access to them and retweet and do all that wonderful things we do with social media. So hashtag RealColumbiaSC.